Okay, friends, this first bow is actually a beginner's bow, and we like to refer to it as a cheater bow. Why is it a cheater? Because it's going to look like a bow when we attach it to our base, but it's it's so simple, you're just going to go, wow, I should have had a V8. So I have cut three strips of ribbon. The first one, the longest one is 27 inches then 25, then 23. So each one goes down by two inches. It requires three ribbon. You can use a two and a half, a one and a half. Um, you can use different um, widths, but the main thing to remember is that it's gonna be 25, 23, no, 27, 25, and 23 inches. So now that we have that um, cut, I'm going to dovetail the ends of both of our ribbon, and I'll show you a little bit closer here. So what I'm gonna do is fold it together, wire to wire, and I'm going to take my scissors and just kind of cut at a diagonal. I'm gonna do that on all the ends, wire to wire, pretty, I do pretty side facing in, and we're gonna do the last one. So this one is the 27. Then we're gonna bring down a wreath base. So I just, I have one that doesn't have um, much on it as far as decor goes. So we're gonna use it as a guinea pig. So uh, we're gonna bring that down here. And so I'm gonna turn this around so that we have a wreath base. And here is a twist tie, okay? This is just for demonstration. Now I'm going to take that 27 inch ribbon, I'm going to fold it or find a, a center point and we're going to just crimp that into a little bow, just like that. I'll go over that again. So I make it into like a breast cancer awareness. And then I find the center point here, bring it down, pinch it in the middle. And now we have a little bow. Okay, look at that. Look at how cute that little bow is, but we're not done yet. Now we're going to take the 25 inch and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna um, make it into a breast cancer awareness ribbon, bring that down in the center, pinch it. I'm going to unroll this, and I'm going to place this in a different direction. So far, so good, right? So you see how this bow went this way, this bow goes that way. Now, guess what? We're gonna repeat that again. I've got my ribbon tails, and you can make the tails as long or short as you want. Bring that down in from the center, pinch it, and now, yep, you guessed it. We're gonna go a different direction again. And without any special anything, no tools, no, uh, it really is a great bow for our beginner, and I actually like to use this method too if I want to um, keep it more simplified, not everything has to be over the top, but look at that pretty bow. How fun is that? All right, that's bow number one.